Hello, this is Anjanette Tanell, your literary coach, and I want to start doing videos on a weekly basis called Tip Tuesday or Writing Tip Wednesday, depending on where you are in the world, as part of our offerings at Storyteller Inc. Now, if you have any questions for us or you want to get your question answered, come visit us at storyteller-inc.com and send us a message through our contact page. Now, the topic I'm talking about today, we actually have a free video series that is accessible through our website there. If you give us your name and your email address, we'll send this first video straight away. The other videos will follow, and they go a little bit more into depth about some of these elements, but I wanted to give you that option so that if this is something that you're interested in, you can go get more info straight away. Now, this first uh, video is all about a question that I see people have in every forum that I go to, and this includes even those who have written books before. So it feels like to me, especially as an agent and a coach, that even those of you who are out there writing your stories and feel pretty good about your stories, or you get great feedback about your stories, you're still sort of hesitant and feeling like, if I want to do the next one, was it good enough? Did it have everything in it that I need to have in it? Where am I falling down? Where am I doing a good job? Okay, so elements of great story. That is what we're talking about today. As an agent, I will tell you that these things are important, whether you are writing nonfiction, memoir, or fiction. So even if I use a word that you would normally associate with one of those genres, let me tell you, story is story is story, and all of these elements need to be present for any type of book that you're writing. Okay, let's jump in. The very first one is a strong or compelling why. And that is your theme. So, a strong or compelling why is really what your impetus to write the story is about, right? And whilst it is normal to have your why develop or refine over the period of writing your first draft, it's pretty important to have it fairly well defined for yourself, certainly for the second draft, so that it can get better. But the clearer that it is to you, the clearer the story will be to your reader, and you will capture them at the beginning and take them with you. Often, people start with an idea, and they think that the idea is their theme, and that's not entirely true. Idea is a vehicle to get you through the story. But your why must be pretty darn concise. And I tell my clients to write their why and paste it up above their writing station so that they can revisit it every time they sit down to create. If you don't know what your why is, you are likely to be susceptible to grabbing any idea that comes your way. You're sort of, oh, that sounds pretty good and interesting. Let me pop that in. It might not be relevant, and it might actually confuse your reader and throw your story off track. The second essential to great story is good characters, and that is your voice, right? So I'm going to talk about fiction. In fiction, a good character doesn't have to necessarily be a character that you like. In fact, it's normally pretty great if you have at least one character who is hard to like, but still, ah, oh, there's something about them that makes you want to read about them, but equally you might want to slap them, right? I think we've all had that experience where we've been reading a book and we feel um, that a particular character is really isolating. There are particular authors that I know that do a good job of pulling a lot of their characters into their story, and I personally have a really hard time with that because I want at least one character that gives me a bit of reprieve and that I love to love, right? But the fact is that whether you are writing nonfiction or fiction, you must have good characters and that all comes down to your voice. So what I would love and what I um, invite my clients to do 
is you really get to know their characters, all of the characters, so well that they could virtually go out into the world and almost see those characters come into a cafe, drive down the street, run down the jogging path, whatever it is. And those would obviously be non-historical fiction characters, they'd be contemporary characters, but I want you to know your characters so well that you would know what they would do outside of the story. You don't necessarily bring it into the story, but you know those characters so well that you know what they would say and they would do in different scenarios. Right? That's how they can surprise you as you are writing the story. Good characters. And the last element is clean story structure. Now, as an agent, even as an editor, but certainly as an agent, submitting books to publishers, oh, I cry out for this. I want people to understand that story structure are not two dirty words. Story structure is incredibly important, and you inherently know story structure. You just may not know what those pieces are called. Now, depending on where you're going, um, we might call out five points of story structure. We might call out seven. And to be honest, that is too big to get into the details for this quick video. But we will do it in future video series or blog posts. So do not fret. Um, and it is something that we focus on with our uh, coaching clients as well. But story structure must be complete. It isn't just A to B with nothing in between. You don't go opening scene and resolution. Yay! We need to go on a journey. And there are certain points that you must hit in that journey to keep your reader with you, buying what you're selling, and to really believe what's happening. If you miss out on some of these aspects, that's when your reader closes the book or they don't really understand or they just think, oh, I, I don't know. And you lose them. Even if they're not sure why they're not as interested, they're not as interested. And it's often because something, one of those points has fallen out. Right? So clean story structure helps you get your reader from that opening scene through all the trials and tribulations to that final resolution and they feel good about it, even if they don't love the ending. They still feel good about it, because you've hit everything in the middle that they are expecting. You do this naturally, I promise you. Certainly, if you're a talker and a storyteller verbally, you do this. And what our job is usually, as coaches, is to help you pull it out so that you recognize what you're doing when you talk, and then be able to translate that to the page. So those are my elements of great story. A strong or compelling why, really good characters, knowing your voice, and clean story structure. If you have any questions about those things or others, come and talk to us at Storyteller Inc. That's storyteller-inc.com or you can send me an email to anjanette at yourliterarycoach.com and we hope to get your questions answered. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.